everybody who is a marketer today wants to use video as part of their marketing strategy. And it's more than just YouTube. People often think, well, you know, I need to obviously have video on YouTube, and that's really a big part of it. But they also want to have video on their sites. And when you have it on your sites, it's different types of things that you put out on YouTube. On YouTube, you have your, your you know, viral content that you want to spread and get a lot of people to get a lot of eyeballs in. But then back on your site, you want to have your more deep con consideration assets to help move people through the purchasing process. And so we're seeing um, B2C brands as well as B2B marketers using video to get that message across. And they're doing things like you know, how-to videos, they're doing things like uh, product tours, customer testimonials, um, Vail Resorts does things like uh, you know, bringing their resort to life. The Rhode Island School of Design is doing some interesting things around their campaign to draw admissions. Um, so that they've, you know, if you think about a, a school like the Rhode Island School of Design, you know, all the different websites you might go to around schools look the same. They've got these leafy green campuses and, you know, cool buildings and so forth. But they really bring it to life by having the interviews of their faculty and video and of their students talking about what they're learning, talking about their different philosophies of design. And it's really engrossing stuff. It brings it to life. And then today here at, uh, at the show, we've been talking about uh, San Diego Zoo and what they're doing with video. And they, they do some amazing stuff. But they have a lot of content, a lot of really cool stuff that brings the zoo to life and draws people in. When people use video uh, for marketing, what they're trying to do is use video to tell stories. And the best marketing is telling stories, and video is the best medium for doing that because it's so much more engaging, it's so much more effective than text and diagrams. And people are realizing that you know, that's, that's the 20th century approach to web content is to just have a lot of text and pictures up there. Really, you want to be more immersive and you have to use video as part of the thing. And so what we've heard people doing is, um, it's amazing, they're starting to get videographers on staff. They're making video production part of their content pipeline for their sites. And uh, it's really interesting to see.